Hey guys, and welcome to this special edition of Subscriber Replays. This guy, Ophium, I hope that's how you pronounce it, Ophium2000, a patron of mine, has submitted... Oh, that was a nice one shot there on the A20. Has submitted two replays. Now, these aren't only shown because he is a patron, but because they are really great. First up, we have the AT2. The Steel Beast at tier 5. And he is just rolling forward here. Because, well, he has no fear. Because this armor is just so great. Because so many people don't know how to damage you. KV-1 shows up and uh, he starts backing up a little bit. But luckily, these guys really have no clue where to shoot. He's using the derp gun. So he just have to aim and shoot every single time he fires. Enemy hit. Enemy hit. Oh, KV-1 as well up there. So two KV... Okay, this is all the heavies almost up here. And you can see all the shots coming in on the left side there. Duxbruxwagen <laughs> switched to gold. Still didn't penetrate. And uh, this B1... Is it a B1? I think it is. I mean, I'm gonna check the, uh, oh no, I'm not gonna check it right now, but I'm gonna check it afterwards on the T list. I think there's the, no, I'm gonna do it now. B1, yes, B1, oh, I'm awesome, B1. But at least the heavies know that if you can't penetrate from afar, get in close. That is uh, the, the important thing. So, oh gosh. Uh, well, they have switched to HE now, KV1s at least. But uh, he is finally getting some, uh, some support from behind there. Ouch, the VK 3001H decided to go backwards and show off his lower hull. That was bad because the uh, HE shell just penetrated completely there and did a ton of damage. 233. Taking out the, uh, the T46 as well. And then there's tons of other enemies just hiding down here. Just gonna shoot at them from far as well. KV-1, not doing any damage with his HE shells. Mata-2 penetrates with his gold shell, but is killed off there in one shot as well. That's five kills so far. Jesus Christ, this has just been action-packed. Oh my god. <laughs> just roll forward in your AT-2, guys. If people don't know where to hit it, you are good to go. And a Hetzer just bounced heat shells on him. Switch to HE, Hetzer! HE! It's your bread and butter. Just fire with your HE shells and you would have killed him. But nope. That's not how it's gonna go. KV-1 gets flanked and killed. Ooh! AFTS to score them brothers in arms. That is another mod from uh, Lukistan. And uh, it tells you when you score. What happened up there? Was that flag? What the hell? Did you see that up here? <laughs> that was weird. Well, they went on cap with one Hetzer left uh, because some people just didn't want to fight. I just mentioned that in a situational awareness. These guys are the ones with high win rate. Maybe, maybe high win rate and poop efficiency, but we won't know. But that was the first game. Um, here are the results. And the results just speak for themselves. Just look at that 8,000 damage for the AT2 and we have 2207 damage done over the course of 19 shells and uh, it's a pretty good game but let's move on to a much bigger tier times two double the size actually the Waffenträger aus E100 and we are on Morovanka and as we can see here, it's your tin game. <laughs> Christian, you can't play the Buffin Trigger without going into tier 10. Oh, I know, I know. Now, why are you saying it's a tier 10 game when we all know it is? Um, uh, moving on. Um, we are on the south side of the map. And we're going to see a tier 10 doing something very, very dumb. Because as we all know, people like to go and sit in the forest when coming from the north. And this tier 10 should have known this, and also brought a fire extinguisher, or at least used it a lot earlier than this. He dies to a T30, and 
a ton of other stuff sitting in the forest. So good job, IS-7. Uh, even the worst of players can get to tier 10 if you just play long enough. Um, also, I'm going to apologize, or not apologize, I'm going to warn you about the language in this replay. They are going to be very pissed off at each other because both teams are going to camp quite a lot, or at least our team is going to camp quite a lot, and when they get killed, they're going to get pissed, and they're just going to, oh, you know, they're going to get childish on each other, because... If you camp, and I camp, and you win with your camp, then you're the worst of our, our of us. Yes, that's just how it is. And, uh, yep. So, uh, you are warned. <laughs> uh, this Fosh uh, move into the forest. A pretty ballsy move to do. Uh, because he doesn't really have that much camo. And, uh... Probably gonna get killed over there. But for now, we're just going to look right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because there is a lot of waiting in this game where nothing really happens. So let's skip to some action. Because both teams are quite scared of moving forward, but finally, if someone does on the right side of the map, uh, it is the SU 12254. Oh. Just look at this reload speed between shells. It, it it just can't stay like this. Wargaming is going to nerf this. This is just it's just too too damn quick. It's insane. It's just insane. And we're going to see. Oh my god, I'm getting the hiccup, hiccups here. Excuse me, guys. But as I was about to say, we're going to see yet another tier ten forget how to use a proper fire extinguisher in just a second and we can see the fosh already starting with the uh, with the chat stuff uh, let's see here, he's right there another fire, very nice well he did turn it off a lot quicker or got it extinguished a lot faster than the other and then we only have one shell left and we're gonna put it into the one to one and then we're going to reload, and we're going to speed it up, because seeing nothing happening is not fun. So, here we go. Only a couple of tanks are going to get killed in between this reload, so there's no real reason to, uh, to show us off. As we see, the Object 416 dies, and the Fosh, the Danish Fosh, in the forest dies from sitting there, probably taking a shot. Oh, I 7 once again set on fire, so... Um, Maybe you should work on that fire skill, and maybe put on some... I don't know. I don't know what you should use, but... Oh! Yaktiga, 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 Boom! Yaktiga, dead! Very nice. Very nice. Uh, four shells left, and I think we're gonna speed it up again, because nothing seems to be happening. But then, a Batchat charges. Oh, something more important. The Waffenträger. Ein Metall Borsig is sitting up there. And two shells, and he's dead. Very nice. Trying to help out the S7 over here. And he does. Very nice. And reload time again. I wish I could put in some music. Just waiting music like... But I can't, because... I really don't want to get into copyright infringement and uh, having to take off the video after having it posted. That would just be silly, but we are just going to look and look and look. And then something special happens here in just a second. Ophium is going to ask the Ferdies to spot. And the Ferdy, knowing that he's tier 8 and less useful, actually complies. He d Oh yeah, the, uh, the other Fosh dies. Uh, with a blind shot and that's obviously cheating because that's not how the games work but yeah as we can see the Ferdy knows that the uh, the Waffenträger is much more effective than he is and he has lots of HP to spare and he just listens he just listens and goes into the forest and uh, he's gonna spot something hopefully for us without just dying But that is knowing your role. He could have just been sitting here still and, and just 
camped and 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 let the enemy win the west and then they would come and eat him but uh, he rolls forward and the e75 is now spotted and can be taken out this gun this gun Jesus. Christ! Holy shit! We're gonna speed things up again, just because of the reload. And in this meantime, the Ferdinand is going to roll towards the um, the Leo, which he just pointed out on the minimap, and uh, he's gonna show it off for Ophium, and it's uh, gonna get it killed by going straight towards it and force it to take a shot at the Ferdy, and. There we go. Yep, there we go. T30 killed it, but the Leo also fired. And he's now in great danger of just being completely oh, He disappears. See if we can hit him with these last two shells. No, no. Ah, oh, dang it. Missed. Maybe we missed. We don't know. We will never know. Um, E100 is now talking to Ophium. I don't know why. Maybe because he is better at playing the game than him. Well, looks like we hit the Leo at least, so uh, it is very low on HP right now. But uh, let's speed it up once more. I don't even need to say it. I'm just going to speed it up from now on. And in this sped up time, we're going to see Ovium uh, move forward uh, to take out the Leo right there. And uh, he's going to get hit in the side by the T30 camping in the forest. Oh, that was a Leo. Okay, well, he's gonna get hit by the T30 right there. Stormblood sitting in the forest. The Leo fled to avoid getting hit by the uh, Buffträger and uh, then got killed by the 30. E100 just sitting in the middle of the city. Wow, that was a great play. That was a great play. And you really. You could really say that Ophium sucks and you don't. No, he couldn't. But uh, he gets the kill on the E100, then gets shot once more by the T30, having the uh, not upgraded gun, the stock gun from the T28 prototype. He is spotted by something. Oh, E50. Very nice. He's gonna aim with the gun first and then go back and then just fire. Oh, tracks him. That's a dead E50. He holds a shot just to see if someone takes it, because that is a whole lot of damage. <laughs> 50, that's a whole lot of damage for the Buffer Tiger. And uh, he's going to switch to APCR for these last few kills, because he wants to be sure to penetrate, even if it is the T-30's turret. And he's going to let the reload finish three quarters before rolling out there, because there's only one minute left. And nope, there's the T-30. Just gonna sit here and wait, wait. T30 decides to shoot at the freaking hull instead of the freaking big turret of the Waffenträger. So what? What happened there? That was weird. T30, you are weird and you deserve. Yes, you are allowed to complain about it because you don't know where to hit the Waffenträger. Jesus, <laughs> come on. Oh my god. Anyways, he spotted and he's going for the T69. Will he make it in time? 24 seconds left. Go, 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 go. And look at this. The, the Fosh who camped is now telling the T30 that he was a moron for camping. Doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. And again, someone doesn't know where to hit the Waffenträger and bounces. And he wins just in time. Let's look at the stats. And we can see he aced his tank in this one, got the Radley Walters, high caliber and top gun. And yes, high caliber for doing 11,500 damage, oh my god. I'll see you guys next time. The Steel Beast at Tier 2. Tier 2? What am I talking about? He's gonna let the re replay... I keep saying replay. And he's gonna let the replay... Oh.